good morning everyone i've tried to film this like three times but every time i pick up the camera to film a car drives past and i swear to you i do this walk every day and i usually see like one tractor and i've now walked past four cars what's going on <laughs> but i'm on my walk with roxy and i've been really keeping up this habit because i do go through phases of with walking hurt where i have a month or two where I'm really good at it and I do it every day and then I have a month or two where life gets busy and I don't do it as much and when I say I don't do it as much I don't mean Roxy doesn't get a walk Alex just walks her instead um sorry she is spinning me round um <laughs> it's very difficult to hold a coffee hold a dog and vlog and walk up a hill apparently so I won't vlog for too much longer yeah I've been really getting into the routine and what's helped me is to walk the same route every day because before I was waking up and going, shall I go left, shall I go right, shall I go round the, do the loop, shall I do, go to the field, shall I go to the woods? And then the decision making made me not wanna do it. And that's something I've definitely learned from some of the books I've listened to about habits, is if you take the decision making out of your healthy habits, you make it so much easier for yourself because you wake up and you go into like a robot mode and you don't have to think about it. <laughs> Whereas if you wake up and you have to make a decision like, am I going to the gym today? Or where am I walking my dog? Or what am I having for breakfast? Then Roxy, she smelled something. Then it makes it harder for you to do it. That's another car. I think I figured out why there are so many cars and bicyclists. It's the time of day. I've come a bit earlier. So everyone's heading to work. Um, but yeah. The long and short of it is if you're struggling with a habit take the decision making out of it and make the decision ahead of when you have to do that thing especially if it's in the morning so for me it's knowing where i'm walking roxy and also having like my little bag ready knowing that i make my coffee and knowing that i go to the gym afterwards it just means that it just happens automatically so yeah i'm going to carry on walking her enjoy some music and today we are doing some wedding bits so this is a bit of a pre-wedding vlog because it's two and a half weeks now till the wedding the countdown is on now the hen do is over and the stag do is over i can't believe how quickly it's gone around and my mum and sister are going to come over later and we're going to do some like planning i think we're going to do the seating plan maybe we're going to do some diy i'm not sure yet but should be good because we can get some things ticked off the list. I think Alex and I have pretty much ticked off our list of stuff that we needed to do. Maybe if there is some things, it's little things, the list that I shared with you in another vlog. Um, so yeah, we're really getting there. <laughs> morning I've already said good morning I'm back I'm back from the gym I did leg day I've had I've had a nice shower done my skincare I used my Paula's Choice what's it called the Paula's Choice exfoliant like the acid exfoliant because I got that when we were in Bath because they had a space NK and I was in it in my heaven so I got that because it is such a good product and then I put on my holy grail biosense vitamin c and then also my natacane brow and lash serum and it's really really worked on my eyelashes especially I already have thick eyebrows so I think it's just helped my eyebrows to stay pretty even and not like thin out in certain areas but my eyelashes when I put mascara on it looks like I've got false eyelashes on I have got long eyelashes 
anyway but it's kind of just filled the gaps and made them grow more evenly which is lovely just putting on my biosense squalene and zinc sheer mineral sunscreen i love this and whilst i was in space nk i also got my wedding lipstick and lip liner from charlotte tilbury pillow talk because when i went for my makeup trial she said grab yourself this so that you can top up during the day and it's just a lovely lipstick and lip liner anyway that i can use in the future i'm not going to put too much makeup on today because i'm not really well i am going out later my sister and my mum are coming over later so we'll be going out well i don't think my sister will come but um me and my mum are going to be going to my wedding dress fitting i'll ask if my sister wants to come but she does have a baby so i don't know if that's convenient particularly for her excited to see my niece and we can have a nice little planning doing sesh to do with the wedding i need to sit and write a list i think about what we should do when they get here i think doing the seating plan is really important i need to send that off but it shouldn't take too long because we're not having that many people i think some people think i'm having a big wedding did i say this this morning we're not having a big wedding Maybe it's because I'm talking about it a lot, but I'm a perfectionist and I really care <laughs> about these things. We're having like 50 people, 55 people. So it's a really not a big wedding at all. Um, most of the stuff is taken care of by the suppliers. It's not like we're having to do loads of things, but I'm, I'm still a perfectionist and I think deeply about stuff. So I'm not one to just be like, oh, I'll leave it down to you or, oh, I'll just, go with this i i like to think about things deeply and i like to be in control of stuff <laughs> so yeah some people have nice small weddings where they just don't really care much and they just go with the flow whatever but that's really not my personality so we're having probably what would be called a medium sized wedding and everything we're doing is pretty average i would say or in the middle we're not doing anything crazy we're trying to cut costs where we can we've splashed out a bit on catering other than that though i think everything else we've done is pretty normal i don't think we've done anything crazy i got this lovely charlotte tilbury it's like a beautifying all over glow highlighter though i did put this on my cheeks because i am pale i did put this on my cheeks and it looked like more like blusher than an all over highlighter so i'm going to kind of use it a bit more like a you see what i mean there's a lot of color there i wouldn't necessarily call it a highlighter but that's probably because it's not meant to be it's probably meant to be that kind of thing definitely maybe it's not one for the daytime so i don't think i updated you on the bridesmaids dresses because i think the last video where i was preparing for the hendu i just forgot to mention it but luckily the company where i'm buying my bride's dresses from called rewritten they i got in contact with them because i went on the website to reorder the dress which is obviously not ideal because they are they are expensive um I mean, rightly so, they're incredible dresses. I'm not complaining about them being expensive. That's just one of those things that I messed up with. And they didn't have the size I needed. So I emailed them and was like, oh my gosh, can you do anything for me? Like, is there a way of it getting custom made? Is there a size that's, you know, maybe a size medium or could I, because it says pre-order for October, is there any way that you can rush the order time if I pay extra, blah, 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 blah they literally emailed me back within an hour or two which i just think is amazing and they were like oh my gosh what a nightmare can't believe this happened we'll help you we actually have a start the size that you need in stock i've just went and looked in the warehouse or i've just looked wherever they need to look and i found a random one that is still available so that is yours and i'll send it to you express delivery so i didn't have to play i didn't have to pay for the express delivery and it came two days later. So incredible customer service because obviously they didn't have to do that. They didn't, she didn't have to go look for an extra dress. She didn't have to give me express delivery free of charge. She didn't have to reply to me that quickly. Usually brands, it's like a you know 24 hour, 48 hour turnaround. So I was incredibly impressed. The other dresses are salvageable. So one of the dresses, the material is slightly different. So it's it's not as visible. And I think that it can be steamed and fiddled with um, to be fixed. So when I go later for my wedding dress fitting, I'm gonna take those with me. And then the seamstress can either keep them and see if she can fix them or give me some advice on what to do. 
Um, and then the one that is ruined, the one that wasn't salvageable, I'm going to take that as well and ask if she could potentially, well, maybe not now, but I'll say, I'll say could you do this maybe post-wedding? Cut it knee length so that I could use it as a dress that would be, you know, usable in the future because it's like a ball gown. It's like long, full length dress. I'm not probably not going to have a chance to wear that. So get it cut midi length and then I can wear it and just not worry about the snags. Obviously, I don't want my bridesmaid to have snags on her dress on my wedding day. But if I was to just go out for a dinner, an evening out, I could wear a jacket over it. I could put a bag on that side so you can't really tell. Um, I'll give it a wash and have a play around and salvage it as best I can. But I think that's that's the road I'm going to take is I'll, I'll keep it as a dress that I can wear to dinner. But no one is looking like nobody is going to be looking. and There's no one taking my picture. I would probably wear it in the evening and so it won't be visible. So it's not like a dress that's been destroyed and then it's lost. I can basically make it work and keep it as a dress just, you know, for me. Because it's this lovely dark green satin and it, those dresses right now are quite trendy. You know, the kind of silky dresses with a crisscross back. Like I could definitely wear an oversized blaze with that and you would not be able to see the marks um, and rock that for dinner. And it would be a very cool dress. So we shall see what she comes up with. Um, thank you so much for all your lovely comments. It really made my day. I forgot to put concealer on. Um, it really made my day. How wonderful you all are. You're all just very, I don't know, just very kind, very considerate, very lovely. Cause I put that video out very nervously thinking that I would get people saying, oh, come off it, get over it, who cares? first world problems and actually all of you said of course I would be upset anyone would be upset in that scenario and you appreciated me being vulnerable about an everyday problem because I think a lot of you feel the same about social media where you feel a little bit like it's either perfection that you see online or it's when someone does talk about a problem it's oh you're privileged you can't talk about your problems you know stop complaining but I think that we're all human and we all no matter what privilege someone has they should acknowledge it but also they do have day-to-day -day problems you know you could look at someone like Beyonce or I don't know anyone super famous who you think doesn't have problems and they'll have problems because money and you know fame and whatever doesn't mean that you don't have things going on in your life day to day that cause you stress or cause you worry or make you sad or make you angry or whatever. And I think that there's a balance between the two where you acknowledge the things you're grateful for and the things you're happy about. But also very healthily, when you something bad happens, you have a good old cry, you feel bad about it, you tell your friends, you have a moan and then you move on. Um, and I think that if you suppress those feelings, it just comes out in other ways. And I do think a lot of millennials especially have grown up in an environment with being taught to kind of just keep your feelings in and just kind of shush, don't complain, don't cry, don't get sad and suppress your emotions. And I think that we shouldn't do that. So that's a little tangent, but something I think about sometimes. Anyway, my makeup's done. I'm all ready to go nowhere. <laughs> oh, my makeup isn't done. I need to do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows, then I'll get dressed. <laughs> cutest outfit on planet earth has just arrived for my niece B, and this is so cute look it's all glittery oh my gosh and it's even got a bow on the back oh my goodness I've got changed again <laughs> I feel like this video is really disjointed because I keep filming little clips here and there and yeah I'm upstairs because it's so loud outside because we've got all of the work happening on the patio and I know I haven't really been updating you and it's kind of because it's been a slow it's been slow progress because there's just like lots of different things that go into it like we're so remote here that um there's been issues with like getting stuff delivered but they are working on it today and we did actually get our pa paving stones delivered so maybe i could show you that in a little bit but i'm gonna have lunch in a second i'll show you my lunch 
we did actually have a re I didn't think I mentioned that in this video but we did have a really positive meeting with our wedding venue we went and visited the, the venue went through everything so really on top of everything now and um yeah it's so close to our wedding we've got like loads of things organized now and it's just final fun bits like DIY and like yeah getting things done so it was lovely to visit again though because we haven't seen it in so long and it's really amazing to go there and visualize and I pray to the gods to the weather gods that the weather is like it was today because it was unbelievably beautiful sunny and I just hope it because right now the weather forecast is like rain on the Friday sun on the sun Saturday and then rain on Sunday and I'm just like worried that that's going to change and it's going to rain on Saturday I want it to be sunny the whole weekend so pray for me that we'll have sun for the whole weekend <laughs> but um yeah I'm gonna get outside and have some lunch I'll show you what I'm making because part of my whole pre-wedding prep is taking care of my mind and body I'm holding my Invisalign here that's part of my body um I did actually have a checkup recently my final little review and he told me I need to wear my aligners more because this one's sneaking back out and I've got a new load of whitening because these canines are getting yellow again. <laughs> I think it's from drinking coffee or something. But um, yeah, part of wedding preparation um, is taking care of everybody, like I mentioned already in this video, I think. And I'm, I want to show you some of the recipes I've been eating. So lots of like really salad, like lovely salads, wraps curries just lots of protein lots of nutritional goodness less snacking um less foods that aren't gonna make you feel so good and it's honestly changed my relationship with food i've like really turned a corner um with everything i feel like my emotional eating has basically gone out the window because i've got other things that i use now to make you feel better um that don't involve food particularly because i'm not turning to that as a crux or alcohol they just I feel like I've really turned the corner with it it's amazing so let's get outside and cook lunch time <laughs> why did I do that it's lunch time and we're having a vegan chicken Caesar salad this is a green chef recipe I've talked about green chef a lot in the past because I am obsessed with their meal kits they are so easy and they have vegan options it's so rare I've not seen other meal kit services that have vegan options vegetarian options they've got high protein options keto it's perfect for people who are following a specific lifestyle who are into wellness and who want easy recipes and lots of you have started using green chef and said how much you're enjoying it because it just makes makes life simpler especially now we're doing a lot of wedding prep i'm trying to pre-film some re recipe videos so i'm shopping for recipes that i'm creating and it just means that i have the exact ingredients put in a box, set aside for me to make my meals. And Alex is also absolutely obsessed because it just makes things so much easier. This includes one of my favorite things. This is like one of my favorite vegan alternatives. It's this isn't chicken pieces. And I'm very excited, very hungry. If you wanna check Green Chef out, then go and have a look in the link down below. And I have a discount code for you as well, which means that you get 40% off your first box with Green Chef, which is obviously a huge saving. And then you get 25% off your next three boxes. So you can sign up, you can give it a go, see how you feel about it and get your discount because it is a really, really great service. And I recommend, I'm, I'm gonna be a customer for the foreseeable because I just really, really rate having these options. So I'd have to think every single night about what I'm gonna cook. It's just dealt with. <laughs> My discount code because i forgot to say it's madeline gc and i'll leave it linked below so go check it out go sign up and let's cook i'll show you how it works and the step by step because basically it's all written up step by step on a piece of card i've actually lost the card because alex put it in the recycling of course he did but it's on the website so i've got it i've got the recipe got my ingredients and it's it's not it's not the end of the world i basically unpackaged my green chef put it all in the fridge in its containers i have like little containers in the fridge and i put each one individually for each Green Chef recipe and Alex recycled the box. So I don't have the box to show you, but it doesn't matter because it's on the website. <laughs>
lunch is served. Just got a little bit of cleaning up to do. Not too much though, but this smells and looks so good. The garlic croutons. Like, I feel like because, I say this a lot, but because I make so many recipes all the time, it's always according to a, like a, a theme. So I'll be like, right, I'm gonna do a tofu video or I'm gonna do a salads video. I just forget about doing things in my everyday life. Like, just getting a piece of bread and baking it in the oven with some garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper is so delicious because you're just making yourself kind of instant quick garlic bread. And that's what I've just done now. And when it came out the oven, oh my goodness, it smells so delicious. And the dressing smells so nice. I actually had never done that before, adding vegan cheese into the dressing. Don't know why, but I've never thought of doing it. And I think it's a bloody brilliant idea. So let's have a mouthful. Got to get a crouton. My mouth is actually watering. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious. 10 out of 10. You did it again, Green Chef. So if you're looking to give this kind of thing a try, use the code, see if you like it. I promise you, you will if you're kind of maybe a bit lazy, you're coming into a busy time. I don't like to use the word lazy because I don't think anyone who's trying to cook from scratch is lazy. No one should really be called lazy. I hate the word lazy. So not lazy, but if you're busy, if you're tired, if you don't have the time or energy, or if you're just trying to learn how to cook more meals like this, then definitely give Green Chef a go. Even if you're an avid cook already, it'll give you some new fun ideas to try. Highly, highly recommend. I'm gonna gobble this up and I'll speak to you later on. Good evening. I've been a very bad vlogger today, but I'm gonna show you a few things whilst the oven heats up. Today we went through the seating plan and we have sussed it. I think I said that before, but it was so difficult because I don't want to have um, like my side, Alex's side. I don't want to have where people who know each other are sat. You know, it's just people who know each other and then other people who know each other. I have been to weddings in the past where you're on a table with only people you know. Um, have I actually? No, I don't know. Have we? Maybe not. Maybe there's always someone you don't know that well. But I, yeah. I think it's nice basically when you mix things up and we're having long tables. And so we've done it so that people are always near someone they know. They're both their partner who they are going with. Um, so they're next to or opposite their partner who they're with. Or if they're alone, then they're next to someone else who's alone. And then they're near someone or next to someone who either they will get it along with, they already do know, or someone I think they'll, yeah, someone they'll, they'll get along with. And it was like figuring out a puzzle because you're having to figure out families who would want to be together or near enough each other. Um, but then also not making it so my family's on one side and then Alex is on the other side and it's all like split like that. So we've had to shuffle it even down to like, you know, bridesmaids, some bridesmaids here, some bridesmaids here. But it's quite fun. It's quite fun to envisage people at the wedding hanging out and speaking to new people, getting to know our family and friends and imagining, oh, they might get on really well. They'd speak about this. Um, so we've actually cracked it and I think it's successful. And hopefully throughout the whole process as well, people might move around a bit and end up chatting to everyone. I just went to my final wedding dress fitting and it was a huge success because if you go right the way back to when I bought my wedding dress, I do have a video so you can watch it here. My wedding dress that I bought, it was an X display wedding dress and it didn't fit me. So when I bought it, they explained to me that I can have something called a corset back put in by a seamstress. Um, and I was like, brilliant, I love the dress. I'm gonna do that because this is my dream dress. So then I waited a little while before I saw a seamstress because it wasn't needed yet. Um, and I went to see the seamstress and she was like, the issue with that is lots of the time people say this in shops and it's actually more complicated than that. And she said, by the time I put a corset back in, cause it was like, literally there was about, I'll show you photos post wedding. There was maybe about a four and a half inch gap. And she said by the, and then by the time I went to the fitting, maybe there was like a slightly smaller gap. And she's like, by the time I put a corset back in and then close the corset, you'll have a tiny, tiny little gap where there's a corset visible. And that will kind of be pointless because there's no corset to be shown. So she was like, either I can remove material and make a bigger visible corset, or if you think you might lose a bit more weight, then you can, but you know, gamble with that. And because there was enough time, 
I was like, I actually think that I probably will lose a bit of weight because if you are new to this channel, I did gain a lot of weight over the last few years, like lots of people did because of the pandemic. Stress eating, over drinking, just being emotional and stressed and stuff. And it happens to the best of us and I just wasn't taking care of myself. And the last probably like six months to nine months, maybe, maybe a bit longer, maybe a year, no, about, about six to nine months, I've really been taking care of my health, massively reduced the amount I drink, massively reduced the emotional eating. And I've spoken with a nutritionist and changed my diet where I'm eating a lot more protein. And all of that I think has contributed to me going back to um, a weight that is more I'm, my body is more used to, that you're probably more used to seeing me with. And the last fitting I had with the wedding dress seamstress, it did up and I was like, woohoo, it does up. I'm so proud of myself. And then this time um, it does up and it's comfortable. So I'm on the right track. I've not done anything extreme. And if I'm here to say one thing and advocate for is you do not need to do anything extreme or crazy pre-wedding if you're you don't also, you don't have to make a dress fit you as well. I, I genuinely bought the dress thinking I would just get a corset done. I know, I was like, I'll make the dress fit me um, as the body I am now. But because I've also been inspired to take on this kind of health journey with the wedding in mind, where I think I've mentioned this before, where I was like, I want to look like me looking my best. As in, I want to look back at the photos and think she looks like Maddie as a happy healthy person not Maddie as someone who's emotionally eating or binge not binge drinking but I was you know comfort drinking having a couple glasses of wine during the week that kind of thing that is that can easily gradually make you gain quite a lot of weight and being depressed and sad stress can change your hormones and I was like I want to look back at the photos and think she was in such a happy place she was taking care of her, her mind, her body, her soul. She was feeling amazing. And that reflects in how she looks, but also it reflects in how I remember the day and how I remember that time of her life. And that's what I wanted, like that kind of all round idea. And I feel like I'm, I'm really like there. And it makes me so happy that it was a motivation for me. I know for some people it's like a negative thing to try and like, you know, there's that horrible diet culture idea of losing weight for your wedding, which you do not have to do. Anyway, long story short, I fit my dress. I feel like a million bucks. I feel like I look like me again. I feel so much more body co confident as well going through this process because I think gaining weight is gonna be perspective that I used to have such bad body dysmorphia and think that I looked a certain way when I didn't because I feel great in my body now. But anyway, let me show you the wedding shoes. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. Should I show them? Should I show them or not? Um, can you give me a second? I just got to clean Frankie's bowl. Do you not want to see it? I'm not looking. So I got these from Vestier Collective and they are second hand and they are gorgeous. So let me unbox them for you. They came in the original box, which is very exciting. Woohoo! Um, they come with the dust bag. And the cool thing about um, Vestiaire Collective, like where I got my Chanel bag from Luxury Promise, it's all authenticated. So the company, so this was like a secondhand seller who then it sends to Vestiaire Collective first to their warehouse. They authenticate the item and then they send it to you. So I found these and they were actually pretty affordable considering um, what they are because I think they'd been on there for a while because of the size, because I've got big feet. Um, so they had reduced the price um, and here they are. They are absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, because they aren't brand new, they do have wear and tear. Like you can see that the front of them has a little bit of this, but I think what I'm gonna do is shove some tissue paper inside there to try and, and then like steam it, to try and punch that back out again. But also you literally won't notice. By the end of the night, they'll be looking much worse than that. But like how gorgeous. I was looking for a pair of shoes that had this kind of lovely sparkle and you can just see them as I, well, if I was to kick my feet out and like lift, lift my dress, you can kind of see them, which is just gorgeous. And I needed a small heel because I am very tall and um, I'm sure most wedding dresses would be the right length on me because I'm taller than the average person. <laughs> so I couldn't go too high because if I did, it would really make the dress short on me. And they're very comfortable. They fit absolutely perfectly and I absolutely adore them. And I also don't think they're so like wedding-y that I can't wear them again because I definitely can wear those for special occasions in the future and what I plan on doing is if I haven't worn them within a year of the wedding then I will 
sell them. So yeah, I'm gonna have my dinner now and I'll see you tomorrow because tomorrow I'm getting my final hair cut and color. We're picking up uh, my, well, we'll pick up Alex's wedding ring. You okay? It's hot. We're picking up Alex's wedding ring because he got his wedding ring from the same place I got my engagement ring. I think I've mentioned that in a video already though. And my wedding jewelry from the same place. It's from Radmalls and I'm so excited to pick it all up. So it's a proper wedding video, I hope you don't mind. And I'm getting excited now because we even ticked, we ticked loads of stuff off last night. Oh yeah. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. There was only one portion There's left. One portion of rice. There's a portion of that left. It's too spicy. It looks like a takeoff. Alex made this for me when I came home and I had it and I couldn't really eat it because he made it so spicy. That's what you needed. You needed I think to, I'm having some burgers. You need to blow the hangover. Burgers? Yeah. What? Some steak, sorry. Steak? What? The steaks. <laughs> what? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for when I have my hair cut and colour and um, I'm feeling way better about the wedding stuff because we've got lots ticked off and... I'm excited, not long now, two and a half weeks, ah! So my hair is done feeling all glam. Last hair dye and hair cut before the wedding. Just had a little trim, feel all healthy. And now we're gonna go pick up Alex's wedding ring and my wedding jewelry, which is very, very exciting. As if, as if. How are you doing? So, a little bit of a curveball. Alex's ring doesn't fit, <laughs> so he's having to get it resized slightly bigger. And the safe that houses my jewellery, she couldn't open because it's a huge safe and her. It must be like over 100 years old. Though, really old safe. Cool. So her dad, I think, usually does it, and it's a bit temperamental because it's such an old door. So she was trying and she's like, I can't open it. So because we're coming back Saturday for Alex's ring when it's resized, we'll just get it then. Not the end of the world. No. Because it puts a, it's like a even more um, suspense. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we'll go home now. Yeah. Yeah. I've done everything. Yeah. I've got my free whopper. Did you actually? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm back home feeling glamorous. I always feel like a million bucks. You can't even see it because the background is so dark. Is that better? <laughs> Hair is all done. It's always so shiny when I've just had it done. And you can see I've asked for, I've got slightly more layers in here. So it's a little bit more layered, which I actually am really excited for. Um, so when um, I leave it curly, I think it's gonna stand out beautifully and I'm gonna touch my hair loads for those of you who hate me for touching my hair loads. Um, <laughs> so I had my hair dyed for the last time before my wedding day and cut for the last time. It always feels very short when you have your hair cut but I swear I watched her. She only took about this much off for the trim but I think it's when you add layers and face framing and all that and you get it curled, it just always feels and looks so much shorter. Um, and it settles in after like a few washes. But it just feels a bit final now. It's like that's the last hairdo and then in a couple of weeks I'm back obviously um, to get it blow dried before the wedding. And yeah, oh yeah, we didn't get the rings. I know I said that already. Like Alex is new to resize my, my earrings and necklace for the wedding day were stuck in the vault <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna do a bit of work this afternoon so i've got some recipes to i have a hair on my face i've got some recipes to write up on the website and then i'm gonna spend the rest of the day i think i'm gonna go into the garage and i'm going to write a whopping list of stuff i have to do i've got like people to email and things that i need to finish off for the wedding and just get it done. It's just, it's just like tiny little stuff. So just before the wedding, when you realize, oh, I need to do that. Like I just had a thought about walking down the aisle cause it's gonna be outside if it's not raining. And I thought, are oh, my shoes gonna get ruined in the grass? So either we need to hire or buy a carpet 
or I need to buy those little attachments that you put on heels that stop your feet from going into the grass. Stupid stuff like that. I need to um, send over like a list of songs to the band, things like this that are kind of, all oh, you can't do them until the last minute. Oh, one thing we should have planned for that we have not thought about is wedding favors. I had totally forgotten about them to be honest. So now we need to brainstorm about wedding favors. <laughs> I'm gonna go do some work and I'll see you later on. Maybe when I'm doing a bit of planning. Evening. So seeing as it's been a very long time since I've showed you what's happening outside, I thought I'd show you quickly. So um, like I said, there've been delays, always are, <laughs> for various reasons outside of our control. But maybe this is a good time to update you and then I imagine the next time would be post-wedding because the way that I've planned things means that basically we're going to have time off, we're going to be on holiday, that kind of thing. So you're probably not going to see much home renovation action. However, there might be pictures, I might, might ask my family to get some pictures while I'm away so we can sort of document the process and then it will, or maybe like I'll film stuff and then it will be uploaded post-wedding. Anyway, <laughs> so this is our section that's going to be massively higher than this right now but down this end you can see we have basically down this end you can see that this is where there's going to be flower beds and one of the lads has accidentally left his, <laughs> his hoodie here uh, this is where there's going to be flower beds so um we'll fill this up with compost and this is going to act as like a barrier basically for the back of our new sofa so it's not going to be as high as it looks right now so the floor will actually be like here so there'll only be a, actually a very small backrest which obviously we would love to have a bigger backrest but then it becomes a bit silly like how high this is getting so we don't want to go any higher so by the time the um ground cover is in and then the patio is going to be like here and then we're going to have a three-sided sofa with a fire pit in the middle with like lighting and then somewhere here this will be where the stairs go down to the garden hey frankie um we'll do some nice planting along here there'll actually only be probably like one step up to the garage because by the time everything's filled it will like be a lot higher so it'll actually only need like maybe one or two steps up to our garage obviously all of this is going to be flattened and sorted out hello i think roxy just ran away even though she's had an hour and 45 minutes of walking today um so yeah this is all gonna they've all like packed all the soil in but this is all look at these cats this is all gonna be level and as you can see all the granite's gone in and there's actually a much less of a a drop now than there was before just because the soil has been evened out a bit this is where there'll be a bit of a flower bed that's going to be the step that we moved into the middle and then like i said because it will be much higher that won't need another step because it used to have two steps there but it won't need it anymore we're going to have flower bed here flower bed here edged with granite little granite stones rather than big slabs can you hear that motorbike in the background um here obviously they've moved these granite pieces today and they're gonna i assume in the next couple days set these in place oh my gosh there's a background sound to this track will you be able to hear it huh will you be able to hear it i imagine so this is why i really dislike motorbikes all my um all the builders love motorbikes and they talk about motocross and stuff and i'm just like oh i hate motorbikes but yeah this will carry on all the way to here and then um, when the patio is done there'll be a cornish wall edging here because it's obviously just mud right now <laughs> um and as you can see we've got our lovely delivery from land tomb quarry which if you are based in cornwall highly recommend ethically sourced they are um a incredible company they really consider sustainability um ethical sourcing of their stone and they also have really innovative ways of creating different stone and different um basically my friend was telling me about it because he works there and he was explaining all these different engineering techniques they're using in their business but yeah they delivered it all today mass massively huge selection but you can see the limestone in here it looks absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh i'm so excited there's our update uh so post-wedding or basically the original plan was this for to be done before the wedding 
that's not happening probably we'll, i think that we'll be in a position where it's like well on its way and then when we're away on our honeymoon um i imagine it will get to the point where it's like the majority is done and when we come home it'll be like little bits to do so like finishing off which maybe they have questions for us on but yeah we're really getting there and then the plan for the autumn is that i'm gonna and alex and i are gonna just work on our garden and start planting things we can get lots of pots and just i really want to make an effort to incorporate more mindfulness into my day because i do get carried away with work and stuff and i think that gardening is a really good place to start with that and yeah so i'm gonna really try and plant and make this garden like what i want it to be and spend the time doing that and i'm looking forward to it so yeah i'm gonna say good night now and goodbye is there gonna be another vlog before the wedding yes there is don't worry there's gonna be another vlog <laughs> um and yeah i'll see you in the next video which i think probably will be the last video before we get married i think oh, as if as if oh my gosh <laughs> bye